WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we have a mixed market, pretty calm day to start off things. We got the S&Ps right now, basically flat, trading at 3,014. NASDAQ right now, positive by three points, trading at 8,247. And we have the Dow, negative by 26 points, trading 27,305. Oil contract under $60 again, negative 59 pennies, trading at 59.63. We have notes and bonds, slightly higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up three ticks, 127.06. 30-year up 12 ticks, 154.04. You got the dollar index right now, positive 151 ticks at 96.575. And Bitcoin struggling down $1,459. Tough weekend for Bitcoin, trading at 10,455. Dip below 10,000 briefly. And then how about Amazon? It's in positive territory. We'll start off with Amazon. Why not? It is prime day today and tomorrow. 2014 for Amazon up about 1.16%. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. 27,299. We were up there at 27,393. So you're talking about 100 Dow points, basically. We trade lower at 330, trade lower on the opening bell as well. Currently in the Dow, you're trading 27,300. NASDAQ 100 nearing the session highs that we had uh, actually that we had of 79.81. We're now just trading at 79.78, right up at that level. S&P is a little bit of a different story, trading at 3,015. We were up there at about 3,023 pre-market. Crude oil backing off for most of the session. We were up there at $60.98. We're now down to like about a buck 25 at 59.72. The price of September crude. Gold contract holding steady at 1414, and the euro gets some weakness as we see a little bit of dollar strength. Euro trading at 11256. In terms of what else you have happening in the market out there, Semantic shares pulling back as their potential deal with Broadcom, excuse me, ceases to negotiate. They were looking at maybe $28 a share. Uh, Broadcom, after some due diligence, wanting to bring that number down. Those negotiations falling apart. SYMC down about 15%. To back this up, it's only been about uh, two weeks since it got that initial pop to 27.89 on the news, but backing off to right where it was before that deal talk. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Have a great Monday.